Welcome to Biz News with Edu and today we are looking north of the border at Namibia that has managed to sneak itself into the news of late. Like and subscribe for more. And what comes out of Vintuk is that Namibia's president has said on Tuesday that the government is considering a radical land appropriation in order to spur the transfer of property in within Namibia to the country's black majority. Speaking at Namibia's 27th independence celebrations, the president said that the government would invoke part of the constitution that allows for land expropriation because the current redistribution process that allows for willing buyer, willing seller has been just too slow. He continued to say, we in Namibia are committed to achieving further economic growth and the maintaining of peace and that everybody should be open to new approaches. Now taking into account that uh, Namibia set itself a target of transferring 15 million hectares of agricultural land to the previously disadvantaged blacks from independence until the year 2020. However, during the course of the first 25 years, they have only managed to transfer 8 million hectares of land. So the target is in the over the course of the final five years to 2020 and most of it over the course of the next three years is to transfer 7 million hectares of land to previously disadvantaged black people in Namibia taking into account that it's taken them 25 years to transfer 8 million hectares. How are they going to be able to do that? I've got no idea. But it seems to be very much mirroring the type of populist rhetoric that Jacob Zuma is using in South Africa. And both of them are using the exactly the same rhetoric and steering the countries in exactly the same direction as what President Rob Mugabe did in Zimbabwe. And, that, and Zimbabwe's land reform policy was the direct contributing factor to the complete and utter collapse into ashes of the Zimbabwe economy and a collapse that up until now it has not managed to recover from even seven years down the line after the complete collapse happened. There's been no sign of recovery whatsoever in Zimbabwe, yet both Namibia and South Africa are steering their economies in exactly the same direction because they think that by have, taking exactly the same action they'll be getting a completely different outcome. That's my take on the matter. Post your comments, questions, criticisms in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video, share it out amongst your friends. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down there. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, try not to get yourselves lost or killed, and I'll see you next time. The funny democracy, funny, funny legal system. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>